Hello, everyone. I'm Jim Bruner, and welcome to Neighborhood Challenge, the TV game show where Sun City residents challenge their neighbors to match wits on general subject matter questions, as well as going head-to-head -head on a variety of physical games of skill that will test their ingenuity and manual dexterity. At stake are some lovely prizes for the winning neighborhood team members. The winning team members will receive, courtesy of Lifestyle Services, $20 off any Lifestyles event, and our Health and Wellness Department provides each winning team member a fitness coupon. But mostly, this is for fun, territorial bragging rights, and your viewing entertainment there at home. We have two neighborhood teams from Cedar Run and Mariner's Cove. And now let's meet our neighborhood team from Cedar Run. Would each of you please tell us your name, how long you've lived in Sun City, and where you moved from? Hello, my name is Mike Morrison. I've lived here a little over two years, and I'm from Lancaster, Ohio. My name is Nancy Morrison, and I've lived here a little over two years, and I'm from Lancaster, Ohio. <laughs> I'm Joy Roberts. I've lived here a little over two years, and I'm from Sylvania, Georgia. I'm Jack Leahy, and I've lived here about 18 months, and I'm from North Andover, Massachusetts. Uh -huh. Now we'll meet the opposing team from Mariner's Cove. And would each of you please tell us your name, how long you've lived in Sun City, and where you moved from. My name is Don Martin. I've lived here about six years, and I moved here from the Tampa, Florida area. Mm -hmm. I'm Sue Howell, and I've lived here for seven and a half years, and I moved from Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. I'm Bruce Turner, lived here seven years, came here from Florence, South Carolina, originally from Ohio. I'm Jerry Hanna, I've lived here six years, and I came from northeastern Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right, players, we'll begin our challenge with randomly drawn questions from four separate subject categories. Our categories for this show are A Place in the Sun, Fun and Games, The Sounds of My Generation, and It Happened in My Lifetime. You and each of your team members will answer a single question from one of these four categories. The questions are worth 10 points each. Answer correctly, you get the points. Incorrect answers simply receive no points. There are no penalties or point deductions for a wrong answer. I will ask one question for each player on each team until we have covered all four categories. You will answer in the order you previously elected before showtime. Mariner's Cove, you won the toss, and we'll begin with Jerry. The first category is called A Place in the Sun. These are questions about geographic locales in and around Sun City, Hilton Head. Jerry, pick a question. Well, that one, all right. Colonel Thomas Hayward, for which a prominent Sun City street is named, was a military commander in which war? Revolutionary War, War of 1812, Civil War, Spanish War, Spanish-American War, which war? Civil War? No, oh. it's the Revolutionary War. Oh. I knew where the street was, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jack, from Cedar Run, it's your turn to answer a Place in the Sun question worth 10 points. Okay, you've chosen uh, Farabee Way is a cul-de-sac in Blue Heron Village named for a principal participant in what World War II combat action? Not a clue. Uh, it's the same answer I would have. <laughs> 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 Wrong, bombing of Hiroshima. Our next question category is called Fun and Games. These questions are about sports and recreation within Sun City Hilton Head. This time, Mike from Cedar Run will go first. Mike, Mike. choose a question. Uh, the first one. All right. Sun City residents play pickleball, tennis, and billiards. What's the combined total number of playing surfaces for these three sports? Twenty-two. Uh, that's not what we have. We have thirty-two. Pickleball twelve. Tennis fourteen. And billiards six. Mm. So wrong. 
<sighs> Done? <laughs> For Mariner's Code, to pick your question and play fun and games. I'll take that one. Okay. Do you look? No. What equipment is typically used to play Mexican train? A wiffle ball, golf ball, dominoes, or playing cards? Playing cards. Wrong. It's dominoes. Uh. <laughs> so far we have a tie. Well, let, let's have Randy update our neighborhood team scores. Randy? After two rounds of questions, Cedar Run has zero points and Mariner's Cove has zero points. This brings us to our first physical skill game, which Jack from Cedar Run and Jerry from Mariner's Cove have already elected to play. Now this test is called Nutcase. It's called that because nuts is what you might be tempted to say as you struggle to attempt to string as many nuts on your chopstick as possible in 45 seconds. You are to use only one chopstick and one hand. That's right. You're going to string as many common metal machine nuts as you can uh, on your one chopstick. You must string them like this sample. Um, you may use your chopstick in any way you wish to place one nut at a time securely on a chopstick. You can stop whenever you want to, but you'll only get credit for the number of nuts that you have successfully strung on your chopstick at the end of 45 seconds. The winner of this challenge will earn 20 points for his or her team. The other team receives no points. Any questions? No. Now, Jerry from Mariner's Cove, on your mark, get set, go. Let's go, Jerry. Go, Jerry. 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 Jerry.
Stop the game. Our scoring team will count your pennies to see how much sense that you made out of this game. All right. <laughs> And now it's time for Don from Mariner's Cove to follow the same rules and stack as many pennies as possible into a column in 45 seconds. On your mark, get set, go! Come on, Don. Come on, Don. Come on, Don. Get some pennies. Let's go, go Don. Don. Let's do it, Don. Right. Let's do go, it, Don. Don. Go, 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 Don. Go, Don. You can do this. And Don. Right. Build it up. Build come it up. On. Come yeah. on. Keep going, there, Don. Keep going. Don't let it fall. Nice and straight. Big and tall. Don't let it fall. Big and tall. Don't let it fall. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Don. You got it. 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 You Stop the game! Stop the game! We will ask our crack scorers to make sense out of your column of pennies. Randy, then tell us the results. We have counted both teams' change, and Cedar Run had 13 pennies, and Mariner's Cove had 18 pennies. Cedar Run has 20 points, and Mariner's Cove has 40 points. Our third question category is called Sounds of My Generation. These questions are about oldies music and classic rock. And we start with Sue from Mariner's Cove. Sue, please pick a question. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, you're going to read it? Okay, good. <laughs> All right. What song by South Carolina band The Swingin' Medallions hit number 17 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart in 1966. Well, that would be, I'm having a brain freeze, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my answer, too. <laughs> uh, no? Nope, that's not it. <laughs> double shot. A double shot of my baby's shot. love. That's it. Oh, yeah. But I know, too late. I know, too late. <laughs> Now, Nancy from Cedar Run, let's play Sounds of My Generation okay. for 10 team points. Pick okay. your question. Okay. Okay. What former member of the Beatles left the band to pursue a career in art? Really? Uh, <laughs> former... Beatles. Yes, art. Ringo. No. It's not Stu Sutcliffe. Mm. Who knows that? Mm. Joy from Cedar Run. Are you ready to play It Happened in Your Lifetime? Yes. These questions are about historic events of the past 85 years. Joy, choose a question. Oh, <laughs> nice choice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what NBC Western became the first drama to be broadcast in color? Bonanza. That's right, it's Bonanza. You're getting a Bonanza. Yeah, thank you. Now, it's time for Bruce from Mariner's Cove to pick a question and play It Happened in Your Lifetime. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll bet it is. What Army General was elected president in 1953? Eisenhower. Yes, Eisenhower. Woo. It's a gimme. <laughs> I know, it really was. All right, let's have Randy update our neighborhood team scores. Randy. After the final round of questions, Cedar Run has 30 points and Mariner's Cove has 50 points. We are ready for our third physical skills game, which we call Hot Air. On top of this bin, we have placed many M&Ms. You are to use only one hand and this straw to blow the M&Ms into the hole in the middle of the bin. The contestant that blows the most M&Ms into the hole in 45 seconds wins 20 points for his team. If any M&Ms fall, uh, fall off the bin, they may not be used again. If you eat the M&Ms, it may make you feel better, <laughs> but kill your chances of winning 20 points for your neighborhood team because you cannot pick up the M&Ms with your hand. So, do either of you have any questions? No. Yeah. Okay. 
Nancy from Cedar Run will go first in this game. One, two, three, go. Now that our contestants have released their hot air, our official scores will eat the results. Oh, no. uh, tabulate the results. Uh, Randy? After the third physical skills game, Hot Air, Cedar Run had 64 M&Ms and Mariner Cove had 97 M&Ms. Cedar Run has 30 points and Mariner's Cove has 70. Anchoring the teams for our fourth and final physical skill game are Bruce from Mariner's Cove and Joy from Cedar Run. As you can see, we have a balloon that you'll blow up and tie off and then bounce the balloon with one hand in the air at least twice and then bounce or dunk it into the pink plastic bin. However, you can't move your feet. If you move your feet, you lose. If your balloon falls into the studio floor, you may use a second chance balloon that we will blow up for you. If you lose both balloons, you automatically lose. No points. You'll have a maximum of 45 seconds, but the contestant that gets the balloon to land inside the square pink plastic bin the fastest wins 20 points for your team. No points for the runner-up. Do either of you have any questions? Nope. No. First to play is Bruce from Mariner's Cove. And one, two, three, go. Wow. Well, good so far. Right off. Oh. Yeah, that's the tough one. Do it. Wow. All right. One hand twice. One. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop the game. Next, we'll see how your opponent will do in the blow, bounce, and dunk. Now we have Joy from Cedar Run to blow, bounce, and dunk. And one, two, three, go. Come on, Joy, come on. All right, let's all right, go. All right, all right. Go. That's a good start right good. there. That's good. Good. That's good. 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 All right. Come on, Joy. Right, Joy. You got this. Go, you got here. this. One hand now, one hand twice. Okay. 
I'll ask Randy and our crack scoring officials to check the blow bounce and dunk results, Randy. We have compared the balloon bounce and dunk times, and Cedar Run had 45 seconds, and Mariner's Cove had 24 seconds. Cedar Run has 30 points, and Mariner's Cove has 90 points. I have the final scores for both teams. We have our winner. The winning neighborhood team on our SCTV Neighborhood Challenge is Mariner's Cove. Yeah! Yeah! With 90 total points. So congratulations to both teams for having fun in our neighborhood challenge. Our sincere thanks to both teams on a very spirited and fun-filled competition. And our congratulations to Mariner's Cove. Mm. Each of you has won $20 off any lifestyle oh. event, and each team member receives a fitness coupon mm. from our health and wellness okay. department. So here, yeah. pass wow. those down there. Great. Okay. Pass those down there. There we go. Great. And for those of you watching there at home who would like to organize your neighborhood team and issue a neighborhood challenge of your own, please send an email request to Georgia Lash, SCTV Promotions Director at sunsitytvhh at gmail.com. And be sure to include names, phone numbers, and email addresses. You'll need a team of four with two alternate subs. SCTV will schedule you for a future broadcast neighborhood challenge. I'm Jim Bruner for SCTV. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next month on Neighborhood Challenge. We're talking here with residents who recently competed in our new Neighborhood Challenge show, and, and how'd you like being on the Neighborhood Challenge? Yeah, it was a great deal of fun. I felt it was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to meet some new people. Oh, I loved it. I thought it was fun. Uh, I enjoyed the questions. I enjoyed the the uh, things that we had to do. I didn't do them well, but I did enjoy them. No, it was a very good experience. Uh, what, what about the whole concept, the combination of questions and games? Did you like that or dislike it? Yes, I did very much. I think that was uh, a good blend of things to consider with the uh, neighborhood challenge. You had to think about your answers and uh, then playing the games it was seeing how well you could do and it was it was great it was a challenge I thought it was yeah I thought it was the right mix of doing things some people are better at questions and knowledge and some people are better tactical so I thought it was just terrific Oh, excellent. Now, what game did you participate in? I participated in the challenge of flipping the pennies into a cup, and I won. And then stacking nuts, and not the kind of nuts you eat, but like wing nuts. I, p I participated in uh, the game where you had the cups, and you had to bring them down and build them up. And how'd you do uh, Astor Fields did very well. We won. Our team lost, unfortunately, but, uh, and I was part of that, bringing them down. We did great. Uh, we won, actually. Astor Fields won, and um, we were quite happy with the results. Uh, we lost. <laughs> but we still had a great time. Would you uh, come back again? Yes, we would come back again. Uh, I mean, the, the prizes that they gave out were pretty nice, so that's an incentive. But again, it was also a lot of fun. Even if you weren't a winner, I think just competing was enjoyable. I would. Absolutely. In a minute, I'd be back. <laughs> and I'd encourage everybody to participate, all neighborhoods, because it's a, it's a blast.